Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power, now hosted on Project Phoenix Media. In today's video game tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can play Dead Rising 3 Windows version using a PC, or in my case, I'm using an official Sony PlayStation 2 game controller. It's awesome. How do you do this? Let me show you. So basically what you want to do is you want to go to this website, this code.google.com slash p slash x360ce. Once you're here, go here to the feature downloads and go to show all. Now the trick is you want to download two files. One is this, the latest version of the Xbox 360 control emulator, which is this 212.191 at the time of this recording. And also, since this is a 64-bit game, you also need to download this file here, which is the libraries for 64-bit. Awesome. So let's do this. So we go to my Dead Rising 3 game folder. And what I did was I put these two zip files here. So let me go ahead and extract the X360 program. And if you're curious about the type of PS2 adapter I'm using, I'm using a twin USB joystick adapter. Take a look of what that looks like in the bottom left-hand corner of this video. So let's go ahead and run the program. And it's going to ask me to create an INI file as well as a DLL file. So let's go ahead and say yes to both of those. And now it's going to go ahead and search for settings, both locally and also online. So it did that for my first controller port. And it also did it for my second controller port. Awesome. So let's go to controller one. I got a green box here. Excellent. X0... Buttons, triggers, analog, select start, D-pads, everything's working. Click on save, click on X, and you're good to go so far. Next, we need to go ahead and extract the X64 files. So let's go ahead and extract here. Overwrite all. And that's it. Now what you need to do is literally start your Dead Rising 3 game, and it will automatically detect your game controller, and you can go ahead and bash zombies and have a lot of good time. So with that said, let's jump straight into that gameplay footage tutorial. It's awesome. Let's do this. All right, here we are at the main menu at Dead Rising 3. So let's do this. So if I go to options here, we see that my controller help section, here's the mapping for the game controller. Game auto automatically recognize my game controller. Awesome. So let's try like untold stories. I'll pick a random episode here, episode four. Let's try the nightmare mode. Let's do a new game here and show you proof that, yeah, this does work. Now, there's going to be some cutscenes here. I will skip ahead in the video to help save some time and get to the juicy part of using this game controller and beating some zombies. It's going to be a lot of good times. So let's do this. All right, so we are in the game. I just basically skipped some cutscenes here. So I'm sort of new to this level. I haven't really played this before. Um, I don't know where to go. We'll soon find out here. Do I go through here? Maybe. Ooh, there's a weapon here. CDC will not let them Let's down. pick up this weapon. Come on. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, wow. Now, I will be lagging maybe just a little bit in this video because I did put this on high graphics. And plus, there's a lot of zombies, you know, on the screen here. Yeah. Anyways, you can see in the game controller, I'm using a PS2 game controller. And uh, cameras working and everything. I can definitely rotate around. See, see that, guys. Um, I'm gonna be screwed here pretty soon. Wow, it's a boatload of zombies here. Anyways, you can clearly see that this game works out fine with the PS2 game controller. You guys have any nitpicky questions? Leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.